Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Now, this has been a long anticipated video. For those of you that watched the video of our chase boat sinking, Okay, so something uh, unusual kind of vlog today. Uh, currently, the chase boat is sinking. Basically, what happened is the bow has been knocked to all the water in here. You've all been asking what happened, what happened, what happened. Well, the day has finally come where we're going to do the repair and install the new bow thruster. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I suggest you watch this video. We were in Croatia, our bow thruster sheared off, and we were sinking. Luckily, we managed to save the boat, haul the boat out of the water, and uh, create some sort of watertight seal to finish off the charter season. Anyway, we're back here now with the guys from Side Power, the technicians from Side Power. We're going to be installing a new type of thruster that we're going to show you the entire process of how, I won't say we, but how he does it. And here he is now. Can you quickly give uh, a briefing on the difference between the new thruster we're installing and the old thruster and why it's better? It's better because the, the new thruster is proportional and you have all benefit than the proportional. When the old one is on-off thruster, the on-off you have 0 to 10%. You don't have a possibility to reduce or improve the, the power you need and uh, this is more better because when you stay mooring or you stay near the boat or other uh, it's too complicated with we don't know thruster to go near or the boat or yeah. everywhere it's, it's too complicated because you need to use the, the engine you need to use the thruster and it's difficult and with this it's too simple because it's yeah. a proportional you it's possible you use a little little bit for for going Just slowly smoothly. Slow. yeah and it's also better for the duration of the battery life right yeah yeah it's not a big impact to yeah, the battery. It, yeah the battery it, it takes the power slowly the battery the cable yeah everything perfect it's, be, it's better it's more better for, for that one cool. for the safety and for the other right let's crack on the installation yes yeah. Right guys, so what we've done, you can see we've taken the two screws out of the plate that um, Slav made and now we're just going to chip it out and then hopefully take it off maybe with a flathead screwdriver. We need to clean a little bit yeah, where we install the thruster, the thruster and the gasket to create the good seal. Yeah. So guys, the guys from Psy Power were just saying that um, any thruster dating back to like the early 2000s can be changed to a proportional thruster. They were saying all you need to do is change the temperature sensor, and that you can get it done at your local Psy Power dealer. Then you need to just install the PPC, which is the power proportional control. Replace just the control panel itself and a few of the wiring looms as well. As simple as that. And that's basically the basic upgrades that you can do if you've got a side power thruster, you wanna change it to proportional. It's really straightforward. Cool, so now we're doing the unboxing of our new thruster installation manual or you, you describe all passage for install the thruster or new thruster or replace the old one you have the operational thruster user manual yeah the most important thing you have the function of the boat thruster all the type we have and then the checklist to perform when you want okay. to check remember guys rtfm you know what that means, huh? <laughs> okay, yeah. so here we have the a propeller, a prop, a cool prop, and then here you here have, have it. a motor, the electrical motor, and this is a gear leg with a bracket. Yep. You have the the, the gasket here. Yep. Now we we go to this mount, disassemble in that one, and install. You see. Yeah, yeah. Do so you need to take this off? 
yeah. This bit goes on the interior, and then this is the leg which is then fitted to the exterior. You need to remember all the this type of coat is pre-peeled of oil as and is a seal. Okay. Inside they have a oil but they don't have a compensation oil. This is the seal and the pot. You try inside, this is okay. But before, normally before we install, we, are, we put inside yeah. that one. Just to do we're checking, fitting. we put for outside and check the distance. You have this, this is for, for measure when, when you install the weight of the shafts if it's correct or not. Okay. Because you need to measure, this is minimum and maximum. Yep. You put here, and you check if the shaft is going inside. It's aligned. It's aligned as if it's going inside properly. Okay, most important before you install is all is clean yeah. and it's flat where we go to install the bracket because if you have some, it's not a line, it's possible to leak okay. and it's possible you, you do not put in line the, the gear leg. Okay, you know. Yep. Okay, put it up. Love all this kind of stuff, love it, love it. And just like that guys, we are on. And then once the strut is installed, we'll be ordering, well we already ordered it, it hasn't arrived yet, the new uh, bit that fits onto, uh, onto here. Yeah, yeah. First, we install the propeller yep. for checking if the position is correct or not. Okay. Okay. That's quite important, sir. Okay. If you are right to see, yeah. Gonna rotate, rotate it so they. The distance is the same. Look at that. You see? Very close. That was lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are lucky, it's okay. Yeah. Cool. All the passage we need to make gently. You see, the pieces, we need to, to, to make all the passage gently. Yeah. No don't force. force it. Yeah. You don't want to shred the thread, yeah. it's nice and smooth. And remembering all the time you're checking the drawing for the force you need to make on the boat. Yeah. Because it's too simple to break. Basically what he's saying guys is RTFM. Remove the, the pieces, remove the gear lock, and we, we install with the Sika. It's okay, it's not Sika, it's a MS, it's MS polymer sealant. Pay attention to not put here the, the, the polymer, the yeah. sealant, sorry. Yeah. 
the surface, it has to be very clean. Can you explain what you're, what you're looking at now? This is the weight of the shaft, if it's correct or not. You see minimum to maximum, it's now stay at minimum, it's okay. You need to stay between... Between the two? Yeah. What's the next stage now? Install the propeller. Okay. Uh, and then we install the motor. Done. Done. Yeah. Now I'll just plug it in and go. Now we need to, to pull the cable. Mm -hmm. Before the PPC, we install the PPC. Normally the PPC in this state we need to stay around the maximum five meter. Okay. Meter. So the it's okay. a maximum so it's, it's, length it's, it, of okay. cable. Because you have one cable here, this one. Yeah. To connect to the PPC and then positive and negative. Okay, the battery. Okay, Alice, do you want to explain what, uh, what this, this is, is the, for? This is the propor power proportional control, PPC. Yes. For this type of thruster, is a 520. For the thruster, the bigger thruster, is a PPC 800. Okay. This one needs only that. It's not too big. Which is good. Yes. So the good. space is limited. <laughs> the space is limited everywhere, you know? And uh, now we need to we, we go to install that one near to the cable because from there we arrive the positive and go with the bridge to the to the motor. Okay. Here arrive the negative and from the negative the other <laughs> side is go on the motor. This is a proportional. Okay. We have the positive yes. in common with that. Yeah. The gain negative are right here. Okay. And they control the power. And the, you have the S link cable for that. Okay. Later we need to install all the line for the S link cable. PPC is installed. Power. Well, we say installed, but it's it's screwed on. What's yeah. the next stage now? The stage now. We made a cable between the negative. Yeah. For the proportional and the motor, and the positive to the motor. What do you need? The pump for, for clamping. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Check out that bad boy, guys. So what's next then? There's a communication cable between the PPC and the, the motor. Okay. Is that just plug and play? Yeah, yeah. Okay. plug and play. This one is connector side, okay. on both sides. And this only remembering is a five meter length. Okay. Only five meters. Oh, so this cable, you can't make it shorter or longer? No. It is that, it's fixed and that's that. It's just for the temperature sensor. 
Ah, uh -huh, okay. It's the difference between the SEP and the SE normal cluster. Right, so finally what needs to be done here is got the cable coming through for the new controller which is going to be in this side of this box here. This will be the new controller but as you can see it's a bit big. We do some carpentry work here in this area to then install the new side power controller and again it's proportional which is much better than the old one so we can wait for the carpenter. All the wiring connections are all completed. We just need to do the carpentry work here on the controller and then obviously do the tests once the boat is in the water. Now, on a future video, what we are doing is we're gonna be improving the, the batteries. In fact, changing the battery layout here on board. Our plan is to increase the number of batteries. So at the moment, we've got the service battery, port engine battery, and starboard engine battery. So we're gonna add an additional battery for the service battery. The reason we're doing that is the service battery provides power for the boat, the services, and also the bow thruster. So what we want to do is install a fourth battery so it has more power and it's better off for the battery because the bow thruster do, does use a lot of power. However, having the new proportional control bow thruster is gonna be a lot friendlier to the battery, therefore prolonging the life of the battery. In addition to that, we're going to be also upgrading the onboard battery charger. So what that does, when we plug into the shore power, the battery is being charged by the battery charger. When it's not plugged in, it's using the alternators from the starboard and port outboard engines to charge the service batteries and also both the engine batteries. I've really enjoyed making this video. I know a lot of you do enjoy the technical videos that we do do on this YouTube channel. A lot more to come in the coming month. I will be doing a follow-up video showing you, the viewer, how the bow thruster works, the differences that we find having the proportional bow thruster. And also, I'll be doing a future video about the installation of the new batteries with the technicians in hopefully the coming weeks, possibly more likely the coming months. In addition to that, what I will also do is give you guys an update once the carpentry is being done. So once the new holes being drilled out, sorry, cut out and the controller installed, we'll be doing a little test as well. Again, a big thank you to the guys from Sletner's Side Power. It's been great working with you and great working with the technicians. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, do please give it a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. If you enjoy this kind of content, I want to see more technical videos, let me know in the comments box below. And finally, if you haven't done already, do consider subscribing um, to the channel so you don't miss any future videos, but make sure you hit the bell notification, otherwise you won't get notified of new videos that we are publishing. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. See you and ciao.